Hi and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to paint this dragonfly which on the surface seems like a complicated subject but it isn't quite as bad as it looks. So let's get stuck in. The first thing to do is to find a, a reference image and I get mine from Pixabay which most of them are free to use for artists. Um, I open another layer on on top of that and on top of that layer I trace around the subject the thing about doing dragonflies and butterflies is they need to be symmetrical if you're going to make them look realistic so you can see that I've only traced half of the dragonfly and I broke it down into three pieces so I've got the bottom half then I've got the top half and then I've got the wings and I shall deal with them all separately and then if you keep watching you'll see what I do next. I'm now happy with this bottom part so you can just see I've cut and pasted it and flipped it over and now I've got the whole part of the bottom of the dragonfly's body. And what I do then is I just tidy it up and tidying it up making sure that each mark the blues and the greens are symmetrical on each side and it looks nice and tidy I also put a bit of a lighter edge down the left hand side to make it look a little bit more cylindrical Have you just heard some tapping noises I'm sorry about that but I seem to be having trouble with the audio um, when it's finished doing the recording I press the stop button and it doesn't stop so sorry about that I don't know I'll just have to carry on regardless anyway you can see now that I've moved to the top half of the dragonfly its body and um, its head I'm just filling in the eyes now um, and you can see that it's basically different bits of colour most of it's done with the fine tipped inking brush although I have used some textured brushes on the eyes to give it that um, cell like structure but it's a matter of trial and error and that's the beauty of digital art if it doesn't look right you can quickly rub it out you can see now that I've um, cut and pasted the head part of the dragonfly and flipped it over and it's now looking like a decent sort of an image the wings are next and I'll be using the same system there um, what I'll do is each of the lines they look a bit ragged at the moment so what I do is I rub one out and then replace it with a straighter line I use the old facility if you don't know but if you're using procreate if you draw a, a line and it looks a bit jagged you can hold the pencil still and it will turn into a straight line and it does something similar if you want a decent curve so I, I do that you don't get exactly the curve that you drew but it's close enough and you can adapt it for purpose um, once I got the main lines in I then made the fine inking tip brushes slightly smaller and then just put various other lines in between I didn't follow the the drawing to try and make it make it exact I just wanted it to look something like a dragonfly's wing and um, basically it's reasonably simple and again once that's done I do a copy and paste and flip it over onto the other side and now you've got a complete dragonfly. Sorry about the tapping again but this iPad doesn't seem to be wanting to respond at the moment but I shall carry on. Now you can see that I've changed the colour of the background and I'm using the grunge brush to spray a little bit of white across the wings of the dragonfly to make it look like a bit of a sheen and again it's a little bit of trial and error but slowly but surely if you keep at it you'll get something like you want i've used white and then i've used a little bit of blue um to give it another shade of color and make it a little bit more lifelike now it's time to do the reeds for the background and basically uh, i try to make this as simple as possible because i don't want to spend all my time doing reeds so i draw a few shapes in 
um, go down one side of it with a grunge brush uh, using a darker green and I go down the other side of the leaf with a lighter green uh, using the same grunge brush um, rub out any lines that have gone over the side of the reeds and I carry on doing that all the way through the whole thing takes four or five minutes so it's not a long process um, and then the what to do after that is because it just looks two dimensional at the moment as I go back I go back into the background layer again and then use various charcoal brushes and various colors to make the background more misty then I put in a few light um, shapes of reeds in the background and once I've got that in position I then take the reeds that I've just done cut and paste them move them across a little bit and you, that's what all those flashes are at the moment and then all of a sudden you've got a picture with a lot more depth pop the dragonfly on the top and that's it job's done hope you enjoyed this video if you did thanks for watching and uh, please give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe there'll be another one along shortly thanks